I had to come at y'all real quick, man, just to show y'all the kind of shit I be seeing, you know what I'm saying, on the internet and things like that, man. And just just a little discussion real quick. I'm, I'm in the middle of working, but a motherfucker, you know, I got time today. I got time today. So as y'all see this Facebook exchange, I was just having. I'm, I'm going to show y'all something. The post, the post says, the post says, um, let's see what this post says. No slut shaming allowed. This is a guy. He says, no slut shaming allowed anywhere near me. We love sluts here. That was his comment, right? So. I was like, and I was, I was really kind of being funny, but I was being serious too. I was like, until it's your daughter. That's what I wrote. I was like, until it's your daughter. See, it's right there. Until it's your daughter. Right. And then he writes back. He's like, just stop. I won't slut shame my daughter either. Fuck out of here. Y'all know me. So I go, kids like you are the problem, little guy. Cute response, though. He says, I wasn't trying to be cute. I have a daughter. And I damn sure won't slut shame her. <laughs> this is people are talking about kids and their sexuality and slut shaming. Do y'all understand it's children? This is a regular, this ain't even a go along, get along gang, y'all. This is not even a go along, get along gang. This is a regular black man. This is a regular person. Um, I wasn't trying to be cute. I have a daughter and I'm damn, I damn sure won't slut shame her for owning her sexuality. I said, new age talk of the devil. Then I went on to say, what the hell would a child know about sexuality in the first place? Remember, we were taught not to have sex until marriage or at least 18. Now we're having conversations about children and their sexuality. You don't think it's demonic nor or devilish nor or evil related that lets me know that you have a child's mind and an internet based person who Instagram and Facebook has taken your intellect and your psyche and any uh, taking away your intellect and psyche and anything that is holy inside of you in my opinion this is where we get crispy y'all thought that was crispy he goes i am an atheist i give zero fucks about your religious morality there is no god nor any devil both sides within the man's mind which that was some that was some right and wrong information mixed together. If y'all ever want me to explore that, I, I can do that for y'all. Uh, I wrote, has nothing to do with religion, my brother. And you know that. Bringing up religion is a scapegoat. I won't even go there. You know exactly what I said. I wrote, who the fuck gives a fuck about you being an atheist? I can guarantee you nobody. Wow, so you're defiant. I bet your parents are really proud, right? And he goes, you know what? You got it. I said what I said, do you. And then, right? And then he sends the, he sends that emoji, right? And then I wrote back respect. I'm here to tell y'all this. I told y'all. I, to I told y'all they're among us. That's a young man with a child. And he willing to have that kind of, he willing to have that kind of rhetoric, y'all. That man willing to talk like that. That man got a daughter, y'all. What y'all think this man Kwame Brown talking about? What y'all think Kwame talking about, y'all? What y'all think I'm talking about in these videos, man? I told y'all it's people that will seek out the go along, get along game and try to join them. There's people who sit at home and see that internet and see that Instagram and they want that life and they will, how do I get it? Well, shit, I saw Lil Nas X kissing a boy. Niggas ain't even gay and will suck a dick. Don't like men or nothing, but don't have morality. There's people around you that will seek these groups out. And with TikTok, with 
YouTube, them being able to get close to a Jay-Z or Beyonce makes it more easy because we have what we call influencers and influencers is who they're going after now. Influencers is who the advertisers go after. So what do you, who, who what do y'all think these influencers are doing for this money now? You think they let them get away scot-free? Huh? These TikTokers, these all of a sudden regular people, millionaires from the internet. Y'all better wake the fuck up, man. Y'all better wake all the way the fuck up. Open your eyes, wipe the crust out. Don't step in your breakfast. Get your kids, get like, wake up. Get ready for work, wake up. I'm telling y'all, man, this shit, this shit. Is people really like this, man? Y'all think this shit a joke? It's a grown ass man on the internet talking to me about his daughter, slut shit. He has a child. He told me he has a daughter. This is, this. so that's a daughter being raised. One daughter we lost right there. Already a man we lost with that mentality. And he finna raise a daughter. That's another woman we lost. Y'all take that with y'all. All these people with these fucked up mentalities raising their kids. That's another soldier. That's another, that's another goddess. Another goddess we lost right there. I got to get back to work. Ain't nothing more important to y'all, but I do got to get back to work. You know, go, um, um, I, I ain't gonna say it how Kwame said, but um, y'all know what I gotta go do. Clock in, but um, yeah, man, they amongst us. They your friends. That's what y'all keep. Y'all don't. Y'all don't. Y'all don't think the devil is that close. Y'all think it's on the internet. Y'all think it's no. Your friends want that. Your girlfriend with the fake ass and the fake titties, and she don't do nothing but fuck with ballers. Really niggas who scam, who never on the up and up. If he was a baller, he'd be a doctor and she wouldn't have a fake body because he'd accept her for who she is. So that, that homegirl you got, she'll do anything to get on Love & Hip Hop. That homeboy you got, he'll do anything to get on these shows to, to make the, go viral the next moment. I'm out of here, man. Y'all know what it is with me. Once we up, we stuck like that. We can't be up with motherfuckers like that around us, man. I told they, I told y'all they are among us. I had to make this quick video. I love y'all. I'm out of here. Once we up, we all. Once we all up, we all stuck.